What's going on, guys? Welcome back in the Rover Sports. I want to thank you guys for subscribing and commenting on my videos. Really appreciate the support. And um, we're going to go ahead here and look at Trevor Simeon. We're actually going to take this thing to the second half. This is week 12, I believe. It might be week 11, but I think it's week 12. Kansas City and Denver um, at Mile High Stadium. And uh, we're looking at some, uh, at some footage right here of Trevor Simeon. And um, it's interesting here to note how he um, how he performs here in this uh, in the second half. It's one of his better halves of play um, the whole season long. So we're going to um, I think this is a good place, an appropriate place to start off our film review. So this is one of the best, not that one, not one of the best throws in the night. So when you, I guess we can look at that, at that play. So when you look at Simeon's release, it's kind of a sidearm release where his elbow's kind of out. It's not exactly like Kurt Warner or Rich Gannon, but he kind of corks it, you know, kind of from the side. It's not over his head, kind of like a Mariota or even like Peyton or Carson Palmer. It's a little bit different. Um, and, and it helps him, I think, grip the football better and it helps him spin the ball. But when you're going to watch Simeon, he doesn't exactly have the, the, the strongest arm, but here he gets good protection. And here you're going to see a great example of Simeon. And so when you look at Trevor Simeon, the one issue I have with him is I think his footwork, when he gets back in the pocket, I think his feet are slow. It takes a while for him to load up, and he sometimes only looks at one guy. However, the one part about Simeon that is his fallback is he happens to place the ball well. He's a tacticianer. He happens to place, you know, he happens to throw the ball accurately to spots, and he also happens to lob the ball with touch, so he throws a catchable ball. And, and really, um, when I do my film reviews... You know, I kind of come in with a preconceived notion, but I try to be as objective as possible. And, you know, watching Simeon and especially watching the Broncos play the New England Patriots, I thought a lot of times Simeon was like a captain checkdown, was a guy that was very limited in his abilities and whatnot. But you have to give the man props. This is one of his best second halves. I, I got a sign looking at this game, and this is one of the best second halves of Simeon's, you know, career. Probably the best half of his career. Here he does a really nice job of eluding pressure, keeping his eyes down the field, and then you're going to see again Simeon. You know that that's part of the reason why he might not put that much on the football is because he's kind of it's it's hard to come up with a word to describe that throwing motion, but he's kind of like curling it there. And now Simeon's going to get the call right here on the fourth and one. So you're going to get a first down. I believe they run it here. And then you're going to see Simeon with, you know, possibly with, with a very uncharacteristic like Simeon play here, kind of showing off right here. Um, that wasn't the play, although that was a good read and good decisive throw, just defended well. Here's the play of Simeon. This is when he's showing off, spinning kind of, you know, herky-jerky and spinning around, schoolyard BS, and he gets a touchdown there. Great improvisation. Got to give the man his props. Holding the ball out with one hand, gripping the football, and being able to throw on the run accurately and communicate and improvise. So you got to give Simeon credit here. Again, this is the best second half he played all year. And... um this is definitely one of the highlights of his season was that seven-yard dart there um, in the back of the end zone there to a tight end. So Kansas City here goes on long drives. When you have Simeon and Alex Smith, you know, a lot of times you're going to have some long drives, especially with a quarterback and Alex Smith that wasn't able to complete a touchdown to a wide receiver a lot two years ago um i'm not the biggest alex smith guy and i think kansas city is going to struggle winning a super bowl with him but alex smith is great to get you home games in the playoffs and compete in the afc west here you're going to see simeon go play action fake he does a very nice job with his eyes here you know we'll give simeon some props here 
Um, you know, his eyes, I like how he, how he comes back. But again, this motion's a little concerning um, because it's, it, it's kind of like a hitch in his release. Um, and it could cause the ball to sail high because it's not a traditional motion and his elbow um, is not as compact as a lot of other dudes. He's, it's kind of, he's kind of pushing it. It kind of is almost like a Romo, um, except it's not as wide as Romo's release, if that makes any sense to you guys when you watch him throw. Here's a really nice play by Simeon. I mean, Simeon kind of ducks when he throws the ball, and Simeon under pressure. I mean, look at, I know this is slow-mo, but Simeon, in the NFL, especially against quick defensive lines, he takes a while to load up. He almost needs a perfect pocket to really hurt you. He needs unbelievable protection to hurt you. He does protect the ball, but at the same time, he's not going to be a back shoulder wizard. And I think going into camp, like if Chad Kelly can, can go faster because his feet don't move fast, and that allows defenses to, to gain traction. I look at Paxton and Chad Kelly. They can both push the ball better than Trevor Simeon. And Chad Kelly has a lot more powerful arm. Now, Simeon's a smart kid. He picked up. You know, he's a good leader. He picked up on the offense, and he does throw with touch. And you're going to see the good from Simeon. But his footwork, that's probably my main concern with Simeon, is that when he played New England and he played defenses that blitzed, he's not great versus the blitz. He flinches, and he takes a while to set up where other quarterbacks are a lot faster at getting set up. Even Alex Smith is, is I think, one of the best at getting, at getting his feet set to throw the ball quickly. You see Alex Smith there is ready to throw, and he just had nobody open. So Denver's able to get a stop. Here you're going to see some of the, some of the good from Simeon again. Um, this is, you know, got to give him his props right here. You know, Simeon... Um, when you watch it in real time, he does see Sanders there. He is throwing off his back foot in the pressure and he happens to loft. I'll give it to him. A 35 yard throw on a line. If you don't watch every game, you're not going to see this type of throw, but on the national stage, that's a heck of a throw from Trevor Simeon. Accurate, enough velocity on the football, catchable ball. And attacking a Kansas City defense that is doubting him right now. This is a big time play by Trevor Simeon. And 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 um, Emmanuel Sanders, he kills it this game. And sometimes Simeon can he's not the best at um at, at you know at, at looking off coverage, but tier Simeon, this is a pre-construed play. He's gonna hit uh, Emmanuel Sanders in the back of the end zone here. And Simeon knows where he's going with the ball from the snap. And this is just terrible defense because it's really, it's, um, it, it's man coverage, man to man. And, and, and the Broncos know they pretty much have a touchdown. It's even more apparent when you watch the play in coaching, in coaching film, like how easy this touchdown throw is. But you still need to execute it. And Simeon at least had the arm to throw it out there. Um, you know, what was it, 35 yards in the air? I mean, I'm, I don't think he's going to make like a – I think his arm strength is tapped out at like 45 yards. But here, let's go back. and I want to see the whole overriding picture here um, for Simeon and whatnot. So here you're going to see all this open space. And as long as, you, as, long as Simeon can get his eyes over here, this safety is going to crawl to the 20 – and then Emmanuel, it's a foot race to this hash mark. And that's about as that's about as fun as it gets for an offensive coordinator to call a play like that in the slot and then just have Trevor drift the ball over there. And let's see. It, it's pretty much over right there. It's over. Okay, it's a touchdown. Just drip, drop it right there. And, um, and that's what Trevor does. Um, KC, very aggressive defense, but terrific play calling. And, uh, and good execution there by, uh, by Trevor Simeon and the Broncos. We're going to see a little bit more of Simeon here. Um, this is a play, again, you know, when you look at Simeon, um, this is, again, you know, one of his better throws. This is the Trevor Simeon hour. Simeon here is able to elude pressure get outside, make something out of nothing, 
And then on third and two, everybody is – they're bringing the house. And Simeon here is going to lob one off his back foot. Again, not an incredible throw. Um, in fact, if this guy turned his head, he could have made a play on this ball. But it's an all-out blitz. It's all or nothing. So Simeon plays the percentages, and it ends up – I think it's Benny Fowler um, – makes a play and he just outruns gains the entire way down. But that's a really easy pitch and catch. I mean, good throw by Simeon. And there you see his teammates love him. So I'm sure we're going to see other Simeon tape that I'm probably not going to be as fond of. But I have to admit, the guy is accurate. The guy is a suitable, the guy makes suitable throws. He's kind of reminds me a little bit of Sam Bradford. He's certainly limited in his footwork and his upside is not exactly what I'd love. If I if I had to be completely frank with you guys, I love Paxton's arm. I love Chad Kelly's arm. And I guess like maybe this will make me more of a shallow football observer of quarterbacks. But I love quarterbacks that can push the ball down the field and that aren't as much like check down tactician type dudes. I love guys that take chances. And I kind of love what Chad Kelly did at Ole Miss. When you play Trevor Simeon, if you're able to blitz him, he's slow. His, his arm taps out at about 40 yards. He has a sidearm release. So I'm not enamored with his game, but I can see how Trevor Simeon is okay and how at times he could be very good and productive. I just don't think he's going to be a star in this league, and I don't think he's going to win tons of playoff games in this league just because of his release. He doesn't have enough arm strength. And he's very slow getting back there in the pocket. And that's going to cause an issue for him processing defenses. In fact, I think his game is actually very similar to the guy across from him, Alex Smith. Suitable guys, but just not my favorite in terms of excitement and in terms of big play, big play, you know, bursting, um, big play capabilities. So um, appreciate you guys hanging with, though. That's the best of Symbian. We got more Trevor coming up in the next couple of months, guys. Appreciate y'all hopping on the Rover Sports today, guys.